Hey everyone, it's Adira and Steffi. Hello. We're standing under this skull. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the sun came out. Yay. I am so happy sunshine. the sun came out, Steffi. Yes. So what, what, wait, where we are on the map is way down here. This is where our Middle Earth outpost is. Here's where our tree encampment with our beetles, our little ladybugs. Here's the burrows. There's Caleb in the last episode. We showed how to talk to Caleb and what he could do. And now we down here talking to Skady. We're right at the entrance. And then we're going to make our way down this way. And we're going to go down here. Here's where all the flint is. And that's when the good stuff starts happening. Once mm -hmm. you can start uh, making flint items. But let's go talk to Skady. She has the coolest little base here. Um... It looks, we thought maybe this was like a grasshopper pit. There's always a grasshopper right here. So it'd be easy if you had a bow and arrow, you could easily kill it. Yeah, also this owl effigy talks about oh, how to right. tame creatures. Oh, let's do and that. So make so. sure and don't miss it because you can I easily... Did. <laughs> you can easily be completely and totally just blown away by everything around you and miss it. <laughs> yeah. So... Make sure you take a minute and do the effigy. It says some creatures can be tamed using special treats. Be careful, though. They will only accept treats once they recognize you as their leader. So make sure you beat them into submission uh, first. I don't like doing that. Makes that makes me sad. Once tamed, a creature will be a faithful companion. Some will follow you and protect you. Some will even allow you to mount them. You can heal a tamed creature with food. Drop food close to your companion, and it will eat it to heal itself. So we, if yeah. you watch that one episode, we actually already tamed some ladybugs and fed them and healed them. Yep, and they they live in our tree. Yes, right now we are keeping them safe. We told them to stay there and stay safe. Okay, so here's Skady. She's the one that has this really cool armor. Look, it has fur. Oh, she is really, look at her armor. It's She's so fierce. Cool. Yeah, she looks really fierce. Let's talk to her. Nice to meet you. Her name is Skady Uxlam. I am a hunter by trade and a former Vanguard sergeant. So we tell her, I've been sent to investigate reports of trouble with some of the creatures in the area. Ludwig mentioned he would be sending someone. What do you need? And so let's ask her about her armor and... Uh, if you've watched the past episodes, you know that we kind of go through this real quickly. She apparently has primal armor and chitin armor. The primal armor give, adds cold protection, which is really good. It also adds another extra two protection, has blunt resistance, which I wonder which animals give blunt. That That's interesting. And then the movement speed is minus again, so it's kind of bulky. And it has a durability of 160. So all of the primal armor has those same stats, but you need different materials. So the, the mask is like, you have to have insect fur, you have to have bones. I don't think we've gotten any bones yet, have we, Stephanie? Wonder, we have not. No, I bet bones. you get those from geckos. Oh, maybe. And then the herptide hide. We think you get hide from geckos. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen that yet. So, and then the primal tunic is the same stuff but different ingredients, and we won't go over each, each one because you have that in your codex. I'll show that in a second. Then you have your chitin, which uh, that gives cold protection a three, so much different in cold protection, but it also has three protection and then plus three percent on edged resistance, and that's sharp, I think. Anything that hits you sharply. Yeah. And then minus three percent movement speed, so it's even heavier. So that's going to yeah. make you slow down. So again, the chitin takes chitin and herptide leather and also insect fur. So she has all those different ones for for you if you have the ingredients. So we've unlocked those. Let's continue to talk to her and ask her about the troubles. You could say that I was out hunting near the overturned boat when I was attacked by an enraged rhino beetle. It's a dangerous threat that needs to be dealt with before it kills someone. So our map and our compendium has been updated. And we go, I'll take care of it like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would advise you to be cautious and well prepared before facing it. Should you be able to defeat it, 
bring me its horn for examination. This will allow me to understand its origin. And we sure will, but boy, we are going to make better armor and we are going to make better weapons. Yeah, before we do that. Before we do that. Yeah, I'd love to have some armor like that, though. She is so pretty. I love that. Okay, so if you look around her base, she's a leather worker. So that's why her stuff is so cool. She yeah. has a She has a neat... Uh, Oh, look, Steffi, Steffi pointed this out to me. She said, look, it's in a shoe. So she's the yeah. old woman who lives in the shoe. <laughs> and uh -huh. then this little table over here is made of a button. And there's a little Let's scissors see, right there. You? I don't. See. Oh, her bed is very cool. We don't yeah, have that bed. I want that kind of a I bed. I find you. Where did you find the little table? It's over here by the fire. Oh, Okay. And then she has all her different weather, leather, oh, different I kinds see. of leather back yeah. here. Now we have a bottle cap table, but we don't have a button. Oh yeah, look at this. Now we have, we're going to be able to make the, forget what it's called. I think but it's it, a tannery. Tannery, yeah. So I, ours looks different than this. Yeah, and then she's got keys hanging from the branches above. So cool. Oh, that is very cool. That is really neat for decoration, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's I like don't a know wind chime. <laughs> this is. Well, I, I wonder if it's some kind of a. It looks like it's holding water. I don't see you. Oh, I'm over by the bed now. Okay. Oh, it looks like a little well, doesn't it? <gasps> yeah, and if That's you look down in there, it looks like there's pretty. water in there. Oh, I bet it's a well. Ooh, that's very neat. I'm not seeing that yet. Okay, so now what we can do is we wanted to come visit her before we went down to get Flint. And we know to go down. We're going to go down this way, but then we're going to make our way around. There's not a lot of Flint on this end of the beach. It's more on the other end. So we're going to make our way this way. We're not going to mess with the beetle yet. Because that would be kind of silly. We're just not prepared. Yeah. But you we can make your way down. want to mm -hmm. get some better weapons before yes. we do that. Yes. And uh, let's go ahead. Mm, no, let's not take the time. What we need to do is just concentrate on getting as much flint as we can. Because we need our flint uh, pick because it takes a flint pick in order to get the bark. And once we get our bark, then we can move up to wooden structures. And that's what I really want to do. So if you go down here, this is where you'll find the beetle. And you have to just keep making your way down. Now there's a green beetle, but we don't have our better... Once we get our flint sword and our flint um, spear, we can take on these guys. Yeah, now these egg. are foxtails. Yeah. And they're really cool and you can uh, you can use them with a crude hatchet mm -hmm. and but you get seeds. Seeds and fiber. And fiber and from And we're those. running out of fiber so it's good to collect these. And we're going to need a lot of seeds. Oh, 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 here comes that guy. I'm glad we're playing in peaceful mode because they don't come and just obliterate us. So I'm going to concentrate on just flint for now. This is where you'll find the rhino beetle. And because we're in peaceful mode, he won't bother us. So we can go take a peek at him. But right, I saw, see, here's some flint. See, here's the rhino beetle. There's the upside down rowboat. And there's the ore. And here's some bones. I'm, I'm surprised we can't it seems like we should be able to hit on these and get bone shards for bones, but these are fish bones, but we're not. So I'm surprised at that. But anyway, that's the rhino beetle. And uh, let me go up, because if what is it you can see? You so, can actually see what is the best weapon if you yeah, go up to. Yeah, there's an icon right under ah, the he's name. Big. He's big and he's making all kinds of noises. It looks like a sword. Yeah, it does. Maybe. It looks like a sword. It could be a bow. I know, it's hard to tell. So Might be anyway. a pike. <laughs> oh, this sounds terrible. 
So when we get our when we get our better weapons, we'll come back down here and do that quest for her. But for now, mainly with our mandibular pickaxe that we that we got in the last episode, now we can get flint. It takes a long time to get flint because these aren't the best picks. Once we get our flint pick, it'll be even better. So you can make your way around. If the water is real shallow, then you're okay to, to hop across. But I'm going to go ahead and go on down here. Because if you go down here, you can make your way without getting in the water. This is so shallow, it's not a problem here, getting in the water. But don't get in the deep water. <laughs> you will regret it. You just start drowning. Oh, it's terrible. So as you go around here, you'll find tons of flint. Oh my gosh. So much flint. And what we're going to do, Stephanie, let's just get enough. Um, in fact, I wonder. Oh, now these, this guy, when we were testing, we killed this lover. This is a lover. Uh, a lover. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. And it says he takes, oh, blunt force. He takes a hammer. Now, we tried to kill him, and, and we did, but he's tough so we won't mess with him right now we don't really need see to order to this is the bark what the bark looks like and you have to have a flint pickaxe or better to get the bark that's our main boy we want that badly we want the bark that will open up so much so we're looking at it's getting toward evening so what we'll do is just do a little temporary thing when it gets nighttime and sleep to pass the night away. But we're, what we're going to do is we want to build a southern outpost so that we can have, um, we want to have a, uh, a work table and we want to have a stone cutter yes. so that we can create our, our flint things, items. So that's what we're going to do. So well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna. We're gonna do that. Um, let's go ahead and uh, when it gets starts getting dark, let's make a little house just to sleep in to pass the night away. Ooh, we need these guys. Okay, guys, I have to tell you, our big thing that we want are wings. Yes. And so we have to have ten insect wings each. And, but again, we have to have better equipment because we can get these dragonflies or they're not called dragonflies in the game. They're called damsel something, damsel something. And they give wings. But again, we just want to be patient when we get all of our better equipment. See all this bark? Oh my goodness, look at all the bark. I love it. And look at this guy. Okay, he is a gecko, and it shows... You know, I can't tell what that is. What? Is that a sword, I think? Maybe a sword to kill him, but man, what a... I want to tame him so bad. Me too. Oh my gosh. We um, both need one of those. Yes. So we have to go ahead and go ahead and move forward and talk to different people. Some Somebody will give us a recipe for taming those. So, just have to keep going. Okay. We're, so, look at all the flint. Isn't this amazing? I mean, flint for days. Oop, better eat. Check your food, Steffi. Oh, thank Don't get you. get too hungry. I've got some delicious bug gut sausage. I can eat. <laughs> yeah. I've got beetle sausage. <laughs> I've got eight beetle sausage. That ought to last me a little bit. Let's see how much it fills up my bar. So if you look down to that lower, those who have been watching, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, the heart is your health. The blue is your stomach. See how full you are. And then it always says we're halfway comfortable. We never are fully comfortable. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm more comfortable than I was. Um, yeah. Seems like... It's a little higher. It used to be right at the end of my E. Yeah. Uh huh. Mine's a and little bit higher. Nope. Mine just went down. I oh. wonder is there about a storm about to come? 
Why did my comfortableness go down all of a sudden? Just as we were talking about it. It it bumped down. How funny. Maybe so it's because once, we're near this bug. That could be. Once we get our flint pickaxes. So I'm almost thinking we should go ahead and do our outpost, Steffi. Um, yeah, that'd be good. These geckos cause the ground to shake. So what we want to do is go right about here and do a southern outpost. Let's go up and find that area. It kind of took us a while. I think that's the noise I'm hearing is that bug. He's making a terrible noise. So let's go find our way up while it's light. Okay. And see if we can... It's kind of hard to find a way up from here. But, but Steffi and I found a way. We went all over and... Yeah, it's by these fence posts. Is that what these are? Oh, and you know what? I wonder if they're dock from a dock. Oh, maybe. It looks kind of like there used to be a fishing dock yep, here, maybe. we need to go up right here. Okay, where are you? Yeah. Look at all the bark. I want the bark. <laughs> <laughs> Once we make our flint pickaxes, we can do it. Yeah, I think this was a, some kind of a fishing dock. Okay, this is weird. I had that noise. And I found out that if I turn my camera a certain way, I don't hear it. Isn't that weird? That is weird. <laughs> but it's loud. Oh, Are you with boy. me? What is he? A wasp. Shows... Maybe arrows, I think. So bow and arrow. Okay, where where did you go? Let's see. There you are. I love that we can see each other's little little lights. Me I too. Love that. I wish all games had that. So nice. All I have to do is spin around and look and find man, when we're in arc, we spend so much time going, Where, where are, are you? Where? Are you over here? <laughs> are you over there? Is this how we, we have it? a we have a private joke. We yeah. always say, I buy a tree. I buy a tree I that's buy by a rock. rock. Here, I think <laughs> you found it, Steffi. It's up here, right? Yep. Okay, so how far up do we want to go? Right here? No, we have to get away from these bushes. We don't want them sticking through our... <gasps> it's getting dark. Okay. Up here, I think we ended... No, we ended up making it... We wanted to make it right here on this ledge, didn't we? Yeah. Is that a lightning bug or a bee? Those are bees. Uh, we don't want it here. <laughs> so where, I think we, where I thought we, we were in the sand spot? still. What? When we built our, I thought we were still in the sand. Yeah, maybe we're a little further down. I think we did build it up a little further up, but I think it's fine down here because. Yeah, I oh, think you right want to build here. it all the way down in the sand? I think right oh, here. Oh, is... I think this is perfect. All right, so just to sleep, I'll do two foundations, and we'll just do our sleeping thing. Okay. And then we'll add to it. But let's sleep so we can have some daylight. So you're building the... You want me to build the walls? Are you, are you building the walls? I didn't want to do it if you're doing it. Oh, I had not started that. Okay, you do the beds, and okay. I'll do the walls. Perfect. Always put your torches on first, because then you can see what you're doing. Now the ceiling. Oops. There. So your beds all have to always have a roof, or you can't sleep. Put away my torch so I don't burn myself when I'm sleeping. And our respawn is set here, and now we're sleeping. Yes! Yay! It worked out great, Steffi! Awesome! Oh, so, 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 so seldom does. <laughs> all right, now let's build us a nice little workshop. All right. While it's daylight. And then maybe a four by four, you think? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, wait, that's not... We need to have enough yeah, room for the work station yeah, and, and the stone cutter. The stone cutter. Yeah. And two beds. Yep. Uh, I think and that's... And maybe a... some storage. Yeah. 
Okay, that's three by four. I think that that I think it still needs to be four by four. Well that's only that's that's three by four. Okay, one more row. Okay. If you do the walls, I'll do the roofs. So nice and bright. Well, my gosh, I love this. Don't jinx it. Do this door frame. Uh-oh. Uh, I've got to change that. What? That will drive me crazy. The uh, floors are not facing the right way. Uh-oh. Lost my, there we go. Okay, um, most, oh yeah, this, these two right here. Have to face them the correct way or drive us, drive me up the wall. I love the building in this game. And if you do it right, it's easy. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we did it. Nice. Okay. I'll start the roof area. So what we want to do is use... We don't have the... Oh boy, y'all are going to be so excited when we get the... The... Uh, bark because you're gonna see like there's ta thousands of new not quite that many but a lot of new pieces are gonna go up oh i forgot i took down the door didn't i i need the door frame so so right where you're standing okay perfect maybe yeah the door there okay now the roof let's see this one so we don't have the gables or anything, so we use these corners, which works fine. If you don't, if you start doing fancy, you need the gables. That works fine for now. But I love the building. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Okay. I'm glad we had the stuff. Me too. Is that Okay, shouldn't say that yet. We don't have the roof. Put the roof on. No, sometimes it's a little bit. There we go. All right. Now, I'll build the workbench. If, um, if you'll build the... Oh, I can't build a workbench. What do I need? Fiber. You have some extra Let fiber? See. Okay, go ahead and set your spawn point. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's see. How much here. fiber do you have? I need the workbench first. Okay, I'm going to drop this. Okay, thank you. And you have enough to build a workbench? Um. I can build no. it. I need wood. Oh, you need wood. Okay, let me see if I have some extra wood. I can build both of them right okay. now, I think. Yeah, just go ahead and build both okay. of them. Okay, let's put the workbench over here. And then oh, one. watch your food. I'm at zero food. Oh, man. Okay, and then let's put a let's put a box. Oh, I don't have enough. Wow, I don't have enough for the... Hey, I need wood. Oh, that's not a problem. Let's go get some wood. So, yeah. if you've watched our previous, we've shown this, but I'll show it again. If you open your map, there's where we are, and you can add or remove a marker by your right button, mouse button, and then you start typing. So this is going to be our um, southern. We have the mid southern outpost. Or it could be our flint base. Yeah, let's do that. Flint base. F-L-I-N-T. Flint base. Okay. Awesome. And then that way, if you want to, you can track it by your left mouse key, and that will show, let's close it, 
And that will show on your uh, compass up above or in it, so I don't know. Except there it is, but you can barely see it. I mean, it is so light. You may not can see it, but it, it works really good. Okay, so we'll be, we'll be making this prettier and, and adding to this as we go. I wanted to put down a chest in between these guys so that we can put things that we need and don't have to be running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and now we can put down our stone cutter bench. I'm going to move it off because if we want a larger box, we can make larger. Ooh, look at that, guys. Cauldron, apothecary table, tannery, covered bed. Ooh, and the wooden wow. chest. I was just talking about that. Because with the woodcutter bench, now we've been collecting all our seeds. So we're going to be able to make seed oil with the seeds. And then with the seed oil, we can make refined wood with wood. So, we don't have a lot of wood. We need a lot more wood. But I am able to make... No, I'm not able to make anything because we need the refined wood. Okay, we need... Um, how much refined wood can I make? If I make the seed oil... Um, let's see. Um, just click on it and it makes it... You don't have to put any resources in. It's whatever's in your inventory. And then refined wood... Looks like I'll be able to make six. And that, if I can just make my flint pickaxe, then I can, then I, ooh, ooh, greater stamina tonic. So, Steffi, what you might want to do is pick these up. Ooh, recurve bow. Ooh. Mm. You might want to pick up this uh, stone cutter bench when you get back and put it down then you can learn all the things yeah i'll also. definitely do that so that's something to know guys if you're playing with someone else in the game you don't automatically learn the recipes they know yeah so in order for you to learn them you have to actually learn them yep. so i can make my flint pickaxe barely i've got six a uh, five refined wood um or six so i have one extra and it takes 10 flint, takes 5 resin, and 5 fiber. So I'm going to go ahead and make that for myself. I'm going to put in the chest, um, got stone and chitin. There's my ant skewer. See that my inventory is all goofed up now. We won't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to put this one refined wood, Steffi, if you're able to make, and some flint and nectar. I'm just going to put those things in there. And here's some of my seeds. You might can use the seeds to make you some. I used up all my wood. No problem. I so, got a bunch. Okay, so there's my flint uh, pickaxe. So now I can go down and actually uh, let's repair everything. Um, oh, I'll put my... Oh, I don't have any wood. I can't... I cannot repair my... Hang on, let me put this wood in this... No, that's fine. I don't need to. Okay. I don't need to repair it. I've got my flint, so I'm going to go down and harvest. What time is it? Oh, it's full daylight. It's right in the middle of the day. Okay. I'm going to go down and start harvesting some of this bark. People are going to be shocked. Look at this doorway. Wow. But none of these doorways have anything in them yet. You just kind of walk into a blank wall. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, Mr. Greenbud, you just wait. We have to get our better tools, and then we'll come back and visit. Yep, we will. Okay, so now that I have my flint pickaxe, I can get bark. Oh, I'm so happy. And then when we get more wood and more equipment, I can make a flint spear and a flint sword. Oh, it's so, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I think it's funny that you don't use an axe on these. It says you needs flint, pickaxe, or better. No, it's not. No, I'm not using my flint pickaxe. It doesn't look like I am. Yeah. Flint pickaxe. We want, there we go. It wasn't in the right slot. Okay, try this again. Okay. Yeah, there we go. 
Yes. Now watch when I added this. When I add this in. Look. <gasps> Look, guys. Oh, wood foundations, wood floors. Oh, my gosh. And it's just going to keep going and keep going and keep going. So we need a lot of bark. And the great thing about having, look at all that. The great thing about having our uh, base, our uh, little outpost here. Okay, so I did get wood, Steffi, with the bark. Awesome. The great thing about having our outpost here is we can go up there and repair. And we can, and when we get, when it gets like it's going to break, I'm still going. Ah, oh, I can't wait. <gasps> I can't wait. I want to go back and build on our house, Steffi. Awesome! Oh, look at all the fun things. Gosh. Still going. There's the railing. Yes, I want the railing around our porch so we don't fall off our porch. So as you play, they've got it fixed up really well. As you play, It'll just keep opening new things. So it's really wonderful. Yeah, it makes it super fun. Yes. And it takes three wax. And just push your F and it'll just suck it all up into your inventory. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. There's another, looks like a kind of a cave or a home for a bug. So much better. But I think, I think it's time to end the little video, Steffi. I mean, for sure, I want to just keep doing this and keep doing this. And I don't think people really want to walk. Well, if I hit the thing. <laughs> well, let's see. There we go. Um... So, what are we going to do in the next episode? What do you think? Um, I, there's so much to do. I know. I think we need to go visit, um, What's her I think, name? I'm trying to remember, uh, Drustana. No. Uh, Drustana, yeah. We need to go, she's the bee lady. Man, if we could get this, we can, um, we have to get our wings. Yeah, we need to get our, our flip pick um, picks, pikes, so we can kill bees. Yes, we need to kill a lot of bees. And these. Uh, and one thing I really want to do is figure out how to... What is that over there? Oh, that's one of those orange. We found those and when we were testing. They're orange. They look like the, the fire, those uh, damsel flies but they're not they're they're more of a they're stronger animal i don't remember i don't know i don't remember what they're called but there's they're over here if you this is where we are if you need to find those right here's where you find those so oh oh i i keep forgetting that i have if you if you press v i press it by accident but you learn that when you go through the burrow and you come out if you press down on v it will show you where all the resources are. Ooh, cool? I didn't even know that. You didn't remember that? No. Yeah, it'll show you where the resources are. I've never had a game where it does that, I don't think. See, my pickaxe is getting really blunt. And it's good that we have that, our uh, little outpost. This is so pretty right here. See, I could probably cross that water right there. Um, pretty easily because it's not too deep, but I don't really want to. And it's really loud here. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going. All right, guys, I think we're going to end this little video right here. Uh, we want to harvest all this um, flint, and there is a ton. I don't think you want to sit there watching all that and get all of this bark, and then probably we'll go back to our house and work on it a little bit. Maybe in the next video we can show you some updates and renovations on the house. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah. And then talk about maybe going up and seeing Drustana and show you where she is and her fur and everything. She's She's got some really interesting fur. She's a very shy pixie. And, you know, people have been talking about we're fairies. 
we're not fairies. I think we're pixies. And if anybody, I need to Google it, but if anybody knows the difference in a pixie and a fairy, I'm sure curious. I think pixies are small. That's what Smaller I Smaller than a fairy? Well, I'm thinking if we're pixies, maybe pixies don't have wings. But I don't know. So if anybody knows, that would be great. If, tell us in the comments. And man, thank you guys for commenting. I love our people because they comment such good advice and such good suggestions. And Yeah, we appreciate it. They're so it. kind. We love reading them too. Yes, we answer every single comment. I don't think there's ever been a comment that I have not answered. So, we do appreciate it so much, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode. Yep, be sure and like and subscribe and press that notification bell so you can be notified of all of Zadira's videos. Bye, guys! Bye!